Okay, I've said it many of times in these videos. Some people suck. But you know what type of people suck the most? It be those one people who be putting words in your mouth. Well, not literally. I don't think that's even possible. Well, I don't think so. But it literally be like, Okay, sir, that'll be $7.89. Would you like to donate to children's cancer research? Oh, no, no thank you. Oh, okay. So you'd rather watch kids die. Whoa, I, what are you talking about? That's literally what you just said. You said you would never donate to some stinky kids and they deserve cancer. Hey, yo, I never said any of that. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Orange Guy Animations. And this is The Worst Teacher Ever, part two. Now, the first video is more so showing that this teacher kind of stinks. But this video is the real reason that this teacher is the worst teacher ever. So by this time, we were getting pretty deep into the class and we were approaching final exams. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, luckily for us, in this class, in this garbage class, we didn't have final exams exactly, but we did have one more essay to write and it was about misinformation. And I had no idea what to write about. No! Because, well, I just didn't know much about the subject to write anything about it. Nor did I care enough. Oh! So I figured, hey, why not ask the teacher for some help? I know me and him had a bit of a rough start. But hey, at the end of the day, a teacher's here to help their students succeed in their class, right? So after class, I went up to the teacher's desk and the homies stayed at our seats to wait for me. Because remember, me and my boy are giga chads and we get all our work done. Because after this, we were gonna go play Roblox at the library. Plus, I was only gonna go ask my teacher a simple question. Should only take about a minute, right? Um, excuse me, I have a question. Oh, uh, what's up, orange guy? So, I know about that final essay coming up, but I'm not exactly sure what to write about, and I was wondering if you could help me with that. Oh, well that sure is a predicament you got there, but I'm sure we can solve this ordeal. Okay... So, to start, how do you feel about misinformation? Well, I don't really care too much about misinformation. Like, I don't go looking for it in my spare time, because I definitely have other things to do. But I feel like people take it a little too seriously. Maybe I could write something about how people over- No, 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 no. We're not doing that. There's, there's no way. Did this man just ask me for my opinion and immediately shut it down? Okay, let me try to understand this. You're saying that misinformation doesn't matter. Well, not necessarily, but I'm sure there's other important matters. So you think that people should ignore misinformation because there's other important things? I... I guess? So you're saying that you don't care that people are dying? How? What in the world is bro talking about? How did I go from asking my teacher a simple question to being accused of wanting people to die? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Now I can admit my mistakes because the actual topic of the essay was COVID misinformation specifically. 
So when I was talking about misinformation, I was thinking about those AI Joe Biden memes. So that's my bad. But nowhere in our conversation did I mention wanting people to die. No, no, of course people's lives are important. Well, watch what you're saying, orange guy, because now you're starting to contradict yourself. Literally just a second ago, you were saying misinformation doesn't matter, but all of a sudden you're saying it does. You can't be flip-flopping between two subjects, orange guy. You have to choose one for this topic essay. You have to choose one. You know, my mom was actually hospitalized due to COVID, and the way you're speaking about the subject is very selfish. Oh. My. Goodness. I just wanted to know what to write for my essay, man. Where the freak are these moral questions coming from? Me? Selfish? Yes! Because who the freak are you to me? And why'd you bring your crusty mama into this? Oh no, your mom's in the hospital. We do not care. <laughs> Luckily, I have decent social awareness. And I know that this guy is going to keep yapping his mouth if I try to explain myself. Which I don't care about because I just want to know what to write for my essay! Okay, clearly I don't know enough about this subject. So what should I write my essay about? That's a pretty straightforward question, isn't it? At this point, he's got to answer it in maximum three, four sentences, right? This dude draws an entire diagram about how this topic relates to this topic and this one actually stems from here and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's the topic I should write about. Well, you see, in theory, you actually can go about it that way, but it's actually more so of a stem so that you understand what this means. So that's the topic I should write about. Technically, yes, but not actually because you should be doing so that's the topic I should be writing about. Well, it's actually more so of a so that's the topic I should be writing about. Well, technically, yeah, that, that's a topic you can write about. Oh, okay. Thank you. I absolutely hate this stupid teacher. This absolute piece of garbage. Because that whole conversation took nearly an hour! Oh my god! And the whole time, Bro was accusing me of crazy stuff. And in the end, he tried to avoid answering my question. It was so bad that after we were done, the homie came up to make sure his topic was good. This, this can't be. Moral of the story, some people don't listen to the words that you're actually saying. For some reason. But if you need to get something important from that person, you need to persist and make sure you get through their stupidness. Because, well, it's important, like passing that stupid class. Which I did, of course, because I'm a Giga Chad. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, and guards, orange guy. Yes, uh, yo, uh, what is it? It's October? Yes. So, I was thinking of doing some, like, cool merch stuff for the six-year anniversary. And, um, I'm, I want to find a way to, like, get your guys' input. So, I might, probably not, let's be real, but I may or may not be starting a Discord. Just so I could get your guys' opinions, plus do whatever Discord stuff does. I know I said it in like an old end card, but you know, you know how it is. Anyway, normal end card. Uh, uh, ah! Can't even speak. Uh, go check out ogadripshop.com. Pretty cool place. And um, you better subscribe or your grandma. It's always your grandma, bro. I swear, your grandma's in trouble if you don't subscribe, bro. Just... Subscribe to protect your grandma. I'm gonna eat your grandma.